how empaths feel when they've destroyed the narcissist. Hi everyone. As we all know, an empath is someone with the native ability to feel other people's thoughts, emotions and energy. Empaths are often highly misunderstood people who have the intense ability to sense emotions from others, including family, friends, animals and even complete strangers, both at a close range and from a distance. They can also sense energy from possessions such as photographs or someone's ring, nature and Earth's magnetic fields. Being empathetic is different from being an empath. An empath naturally gets it without you explaining. Empaths are usually people with the following characteristics. They are prone to sensory overload. They are very discerning when it comes to adult emotions and relationships. Assuming adult responsibilities. They have a strong affinity for nature and art. They frequently suffer from vague physical complaints. A major trait of an empath is to feel and sense the emotion of others. That is their number one giveaway. It doesn't matter whether they are close within a family circle or with perfect strangers. Whether they are in the same room with the person or on the other side of the world, they still can tune into a person's energy much like one half of a twin. On the other hand, a narcissist is one who is too self-centered or selfish and sees people as mere objects. If a narcissist gets involved in a relationship with an empath, it's usually a toxic cycle of emotional destruction and ill-treatment. The narcissist's usual characteristics are hypersensitivity to criticism, manipulation and charm, inflated sense of importance, gaslighting. But their major trait is their complete lack of empathy for anyone. Most individuals experience empathy naturally and intuitively. In general, narcissists can't and won't bother to understand and relate to other people's emotions. This constantly shows when a narcissist doesn't show remorse or feel guilt for their actions that upset others. A narcissist's relationship with an empath is a terrible one, with the empath being emotionally drained. However, one day, the empath will realize the bitter truth that the narcissist doesn't deserve their affection, love and care. When they understand that not everyone who puts a sad face shows their true colours, they now have a choice. They can decide to maintain the status quo and remain in the abusive relationship, or take responsibility for their contribution to the toxic relationship and shift their focus from fixing the narcissist to healing their inner wounds. When they realise that they have been the victim all this while, they get enough and turn the tables on the narcissist. Because the narcissist relates with others with the sole aim of wrecking them, draining their energy and bringing them down, the empath fights back and figures out how to strike back or destroy them. The empath moves to destroy the narcissist's entire ego consciousness, which gives them their delusional power based on their extremely low self-esteem. Sometimes an empath uses silence to react to the inappropriate behaviour or attack of toxicity from narcissists. Sometimes they use wise comebacks and state clearly who is in charge. It feels liberating for the empath when they realise that they can use their excellent people skills to take the lead, set boundaries and crush the anarchist's ego. Because as empaths, they have to let people know that people shouldn't mess with them or try to use their kindness for selfish desire. Empaths are caring and compassionate, but that doesn't mean they are weak or constantly live under someone else's expectations. Empaths are free souls, just like everyone else. Well, I hope you can get a little understanding from this short video. Don't hesitate to write your thoughts and experiences in the comment section below. Subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell to follow our subsequent video updates. Thank you for watching this video.